Hello everyone out there in the creative spectrum, my name is Gary Y of Outer Ground Studios, and today I will be starting my software review series. We're going to start with an illustration program known as Fire Alpaca, because Firefox was taken. Fire Alpaca is an illustration program made by PGN Incorporated for Windows and Apple's computers, advertised as a simple and easy illustrator tool to get into and learn. It's also free to download. Is this a Fire Alpaca? <laughs> he looks kind of stoned. Fire Alpaca's website also links to what's known as Alpaca School, where you can learn useful techniques and the basics of Fire Alpaca. Fire Alpaca also has a good variety of tools at your disposal from the get-go, such as pen, pencil, airbrush, edge brush, water brush, blur and smudge tool, Fire Alpaca stickers, Fire Alpaca wallpaper, leaves, flowers, particles, stars, symmetry brushes, which are awesome, multiple symmetry modes, thorns, and polka dots. And if you're not satisfied with those, there are brush packs you can download. Fire Alpaca also has the ability to animate. If you click view at the top, you'll see a button that says onion skin mode. That will make onion skins over your other layers, essentially turning other layers into frames. It's al it also has a scalable correction mode, keeping your lines straight just in case your hands wobble. This program also has a lot of backup space. What I mean by that is how many times you can hit Control Z before it stops undoing. I even did a test with Clip Studio Paint and Photoshop. In all three programs, I made 40 lines and began to hit Control Z until it wouldn't let me undo anymore. Fire Alpaca undid all 40 lines. Clip Studio only could undo 30 lines, and Photoshop, very sadly, could only undo 19 lines before it stopped. That means that this free program has more backup space than these two other programs I had to pay for. That is awesome. Man, what can't this program do? Well, Fire Alpaca doesn't have much when it comes to terms of layer options. When you click the gear next to the layer, it only allows you to change the name, so there are no special layer options. Fire Alpaca also doesn't have any way to transform, scale, and rotate items you have selected, at least none that I could find. If I missed it, please let me know in the comments below. And this one might just be a nitpick, but the zoom in this program feels a little jumpy as compared to something like Clip Studio Paint. It's more of just a nitpick, but it's something that bothered me. I also sat down with this program and made an animation of a night lady with her cape flowing in the wind to test the animation. And then I took one of the frames and colored and shaded it, and that's what I've made with this program. Many people have made awesome things with Fire Alpaca, and a lot of them look really, really good. Fire Alpaca is kind of a multi-tool of programs. It can illustrate, animate, color, and has many different types of brushes and tools, and has many other great features, but it doesn't have everything. But that doesn't hold this program back, especially since it's free. I give Fire Alpaca a 4.5 out of 5. It can do a lot, but it can't do everything. But that's not a problem for this nice and easy to learn program. So if you're an artist new to the digital art, digital art scene looking for something easy to start with, or a digital vet just looking for something new and refreshing to try, look no further than Fire Alpaca. Link to download will be in the description below. I enjoyed this program, and I hope you all like it too. But anyways, thank you all for watching. If you want to see more software reviews, please leave a like. If you want more OGS content, you should subscribe. And if you want, if any programs you want me to review, please leave a comment below. But thank you for watching, and I hope you have a colorful day. Bye-bye! Did...